How's it going everybody? I'm Kevin Davies and you're watching Adrenalize Outdoor Productions. It is late January. I am hunting out of a self-made bamboo ground blind on the edge of a field in Harford County, Maryland. Coming down to crunch time of bow season. It is crunch time, I should say. And I'm trying to lay down a dough to put some meat in the freezer. Stay tuned and hopefully we'll be able to go undetected and uh, drill a deer in here with the bow and get it all filmed. I cannot believe what just happened, y'all. That is a hitless deer, as crazy as it might sound because it's a doe. She took 10 full minutes to come down here. Facing at me like 90% of the time. I was thinking the whole time, there's no way I'm gonna get this deer killed. This deer is too smart. I've had encounters with her before. My buddy's had encounters with her before. And if she sees anything wrong out of place, Dude, she's blowing and she's taking the rest of the deer with her. Those deer were up there in the woods still for that long because she hadn't given the okay it's safe yet. Well, it wasn't safe. She came down and I drew and she was broadside. Well, she turned and faced me all of a sudden. So I, I put the pin right on the brisket and shot for the brisket, but she jumped the string really hard at like 20 yards. I mean, that is an alert deer. This arrow is flying at 301 and a half feet per second, folks. She took the arrow because of how she jumped it, like on top of the back, going down into the vitals and coming out the butt. I saw the arrow sticking out. I thought, oh my gosh, dude, she jumped the string really hard and it's not going to get her killed. Well, she ran into this patch of woods right behind this development here. And it is suburban hunting. I mean, there's houses right there. 
a little girl in her backyard up there or in her driveway watching me drag that deer out of the pond so you're thinking pond she ran around and jumped into the pond I guess because the arrow had gone down through the vitals and into gut and given her a burning sensation I busted out of the back of the blind because I heard her go in that, in that woods right there because I wanted to see where she was running to but um what happened was I come out and she's, she's laying in the pond so I like grabbed my bow really quick didn't want to grab the camera because I wanted to get her before she got out of the pond if she heard any noise and she was like dying you could see her kind of nodding back like losing the oxygen to the brain I put another one in her to be safe and that was the end of the story she was done I drug her out of the pond and I'm back in the blind now so stay tuned Well, what you saw right there was I should have, I should have doubled up, man. That deer came from the opposite direction I thought they were gonna come from, cause I was watching some deer up on the hill, and um, that deer just walked right in. That was a pretty big doe too, and uh, you know the woods is only 20 yards away right there, and I had time to turn the camera on, and I was getting my bow up when some squirrels and some birds started making a racket, and she just decided she didn't like it, and she kind of waltzed out of there. She didn't ever see me though. And uh, there were some other deer kind of getting ready to come in, but I wanted to get out of there when they went out of view. And uh, so I didn't bust that blind up so I can come back here and kill more. So let's talk wounds. This is the first shot right here. That, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not paid by rage. This is why I shoot a rage broadhead right there. And here's the second shot that I put. And that would be the entrance wound. The, e the exit wound is kind of small, I think, because the arrow hit the water and uh, didn't really, didn't really come out of the deer. But that is a that's a pretty substantial wound right there for an arrow that hit water. So there's there's the entrance when the arrow, arrow the uh, I'm sorry, the exit where the arrow just barely poked through because it hit water. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for watching. This trophy means a lot to me and I'm really happy to share it with you guys. I don't make a penny off of this. I'm not sponsored by Rage like you might think I am. I just love this stuff. I love sharing it with people. And this dough right here means a lot to me on the ground with a bow on film. So go ahead and check out the Adrenalize Outdoor Instagram page if you haven't already. And also like the video and subscribe to the channel to keep seeing content like this and to spread the lifestyle that we love so much with everyone around the world. Thanks for watching.